welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be doing my birthday makeup it's my birthday no it's not my birthday now but it's going to be my birthday in a couple of days and it is a milestone guys it's a really big birthday i'm going to be going for like a soft it's a glamorous brownie nudie kind of sexy look so hopefully it turns out nice for those who are new here welcome my name is jennifer is on please make sure you subscribe if you want to see more fashion beauty and makeup videos and for those who are returning as always thank you so much for watching another one of my videos at the moment i have nothing on my face i have just come out of the shower literally put my clothes on no moisturizer no toner no essence anything so i really wanted this video to be quite detailed so i'm going to show you how i sort of prep my um skin for makeup and sort of like an updated skincare routine but after i finished obviously cleansing because i didn't get to record that part so the first thing i will do is go in actually with a toner which is not on my makeup desk at the moment so let me go and grab it so this is the toner that i use and it's from fresh and this one is called rose deep hydration facial toner it's really finished this is now my second bottle i love this stuff um and it actually has a real rose petals oh my god there it goes so i'm gonna just use my hands put that all over my face this really just helps my face absorb moisture and it helps with complexion it helps with softening my face it helps with elasticity and i just love the toner it's very very gentle as well and it also helps with dryness i have a lot of dry skin especially on my forehead so when i go in with this it really just sort of um helps hydrate that particular area and this smells so nice and it's so gentle on your skin i then go in with a essence now you don't actually need an essence but i have just introduced this to my skincare this is also from fresh you guys know i absolutely love fresh um, and this is called the kombucha facial treatment essence and it says here it helps with anti-pollution soothes and boosts luminosity and i believe that this was 28 pounds all the products that i'm using in today's video will be in my description box so i'm just gonna use that and this smells absolutely amazing oh my gosh after my essence i then go in with a serum and this is the vitamin c and turmeric facial oil and it's from sunday riley i'm not gonna say i love this i've just started using it because i just don't want to waste my money it was quite pricey i think it was like 40 pounds and i'm just gonna use a drop of this on the areas where i have dark marks literally just a little bit just gonna blend the oil what is this a serum or is it an oil i'm gonna say it's an oil this is face oil i use this face oil and i literally just use it on my dark areas because i have used this all over my face and it does make you look quite light and um, to the point where people thought i was bleaching so be careful with this especially if you are of darker skin tone like myself and after i finish with my face oil i then use spf and spf i use is from la roche posay and this will act as my moisturizer also and i kind of just tap it in So because I am doing big girl makeup for my birthday, I need to make sure my base is just perfect. That's why I showed you guys how I sort of do like my skincare. Because if you just were to put makeup on your skin directly, it's just your makeup isn't going to be sitting pretty, honey. It's not going to be sitting pretty. So you have to make sure you take care of your skincare because that also acts as a base so i'm gonna go in with the photo finish um concealer not concealer primer from smashbox especially on my like t-zone areas of course i'm gonna powder my face 
and this also just helps with oil control and i'm using a powder brush you can use a sponge jackie i now uses a sponge but i don't have a clean sponge so i'm gonna just use my powder brush i'm now gonna be mixing my foundations um and the two foundations i'll be using today are from fenty beauty and from max factor now my fenty beauty foundation i absolutely love it but it's a bit too light and then the um, max factor foundation i absolutely love it but it's kind of a bit too rich so i'm gonna mix these two together and also i got my makeup professionally done and she never ever used one foundation she always used a mixture so i'm gonna try that in the max factor face infinity i'm in the shade chestnut or sometimes mocha and then in my fenty beauty pro filter i'm in the 420 i have a whole video on my channel where i review this foundation and instead of using a brush i'm going to use a beauty blender so now i'm just going to blend that in and guys i think i actually missed a step i'm going to actually conceal my dark spots with my concealer from mac because it just helps with the overall appearance of your base. I don't want any of my like dark marks peeking through. So I'm just gonna cover them. I can't see any marks, no marks. For my under eye, I'm gonna use two different concealers. One's from Fenty and one's from Nabla. I hope I pronounced that right, Nabla looks like that and the reason why i always use this is because it's the darkest concealer i have and this is the fenty in 310 the reason why i can't use this by itself because it's too light so i'm gonna go in with the lighter shade first and then i'm gonna go in with the darker shade I'm gonna bring my concealer all the way up here because I want the like snatch look. Now I'm going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier powder again. And then I'm gonna just go down the bridge of my nose as well put some concealer there I'm gonna contour with this guys you've seen it on my channel before and I'm gonna just do a line here I do want my contour to be very strong so I'm gonna bring it all the way down here because I want it to be really really strong and I'm gonna do some here on my chin i'm gonna do some contour on my nose and then bring it up to my brows i'm not gonna do any head contour because i'm gonna leave that until last I am a Leo, so shout out to our Leos. Comment in the description box if you are a Leo. Leos are the best. I'm just gonna remove that powder. Very gently. And then I'm going to add more powder just where I contoured and I'm gonna use the same sponge as what I used to do my foundation. I don't know where this brush is from, but I just really like the way it does my nose contour. Now I'm gonna prep my eyes for um, like a bit of eyeshadow. I'm not an eyeshadow kind of person, but I'm still gonna prep my eyes. I'm just gonna use this sponge here with the powder. You can use concealer, but I feel like concealer um, 
after a while my eyes do get quite oily so i'm going to use a powder instead Now I'm going to get a bit of my lighter concealer, no, darker concealer, and put it down the bridge of my nose. And then blend. For this look, I wanted big eyebrows. I want big eyebrows, I want like just beautiful fluffy eyebrows. Um, I usually love to use Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I don't actually have that, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to actually just go in with my MAC Eyebrow Styler in Stars. Um, I have nearly finished this. There's not much left, but I would personally kind of not use this. But anyway, let me do my eyebrows. So I'm going to brush my eyebrows up. I can't believe it's my birthday! I can't believe it's my birthday! I can't believe it's my birthday! birthday. Usually I fill it in the bottom, but I'm not going to this time around. I'm going to actually just do light strokes upwards to give my eyebrows that like fluffy kind of model less look this eyebrow I'm struggling with because it's not giving me the thickness that I want so let's just brush it up again I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows now and again, like I'm really not good with brushes, but I'm gonna conceal it. I've got a lighter concealer and a darker concealer. I'm actually gonna go in with a lighter concealer because I just want a very dramatic look and just clean up the bottom. I'm not gonna touch the top. My eyebrows are done. This is exactly how I wanted my brows. I absolutely love big, bushy brows. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm not someone that wears a lot of eyeshadow, but I will do some sort of like soft brown. And I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty palette. Guys, you know, I always use this palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with Havana. So Havana is just this actually i might go in the two shades no three shades no two shades i'll go in with the cocoa and um havana is it havana i can't see it henna cocoa and henna so i'm gonna go in with the henna just right here and then i'm gonna use the cocoa on the outer corners of my eye look at me acting like i know what i'm doing <laughs> So henna just right here and guys this is exactly how I'm gonna be doing my makeup on my birthday so let's hope it turns out nice and now I'm gonna go in with the cocoa just around here and then I'm gonna use powder to just clean up the bottom like this i'm gonna bring some color back in my face and i'm gonna use a bronzer i'm gonna use a bronzer on my face like i mentioned my face is very powdery um, very cakey like so yeah I'm going to use a bronzer from Fenty Beauty of course you know I love Fenty Beauty and um, I'm going to use the shade Coca Mummy that's the shade that I always use in um, what's well, the only bronzer I actually have so it's just like this 
very beautiful sun kiss i don't even have a lot of brushes i'm just gonna use this random brush that is my brush i'm gonna use this brush here it looks like a brush i can use for yeah Let's see. yeah so i'm just gonna lightly bronze my face because my face is looking very yellow <laughs> and i'm also gonna kind of bring the bronze into my contour because my contour is really light so i'm just gonna bring it in kind of like I want it to kind of aid as a um, blusher as well. So I'm just going to put that around the perimeters of my face. I'm just going to go in with this foundation brush and use a little bit of foundation just to soften my um, contour it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday lashes shall I go dramatic or shall I go humble I think I'm gonna go dramatic I'm gonna go dramatic. Okay, so I'm gonna put my lashes on, off camera. Eyelashes on. If I do this, you can kind of see the glue. So I'm gonna go back into my Huda Beauty palette. This is the rose gold palette, if I didn't say already. And I'm just gonna hide basically the glue. It would be much easier if I had eyeliner, but I don't, so. I'm using a powder instead. Hopefully, before my birthday, I can invest in a um, eyeliner. I should have actually curled my lashes beforehand, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna use my curler to curl my lashes. And then I'm gonna highlight the bridge of my nose with blessed i'm gonna actually mix it. i'm gonna use moon dust and blessed i'm not gonna go all the way down i'm just gonna put some here like at the start and then i'm gonna put some right at the end and i'm also gonna use a bit of the moon dust to just highlight the inner corners of my eye Now I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of blush, like literally just a tiniest bit of blush. I'm kinda gonna go on the pinky side because I'm very like brownie, bronzy, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of pink. Just up here. Not too much. And I feel like softening up again my like contour here. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush just to soften it up a little bit. It's coming together, guys. Guys, my makeup literally looks flawless. Like so I'm gonna overline my lips. Now, I don't always overline my lips, but because it's my birthday, I need to go all out. So I'm gonna just overline my lips. And I'm using the Creamy Color uh, Pencil from Kiko. And this is in the shade 312. And then 
then use Yash. Last thing I need to do is spritz my face and I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime. I really love the way this makeup turned out. I'm just hoping that I look the same for my birthday. But I love, love, love this look. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something glossy, something sexy, something glamorous, something nude. Um, and I achieved it. Let me know whether you like this look as well. And let me know if you are a Leo. Summer is here. So all the summer babies now are celebrating their birthdays. And listen, summer is the best month. Like if you're not born in summer thank you so much for watching until the end make sure you subscribe to my channel well please subscribe to my channel road to 1k nearly on 1k give me some video suggestions because it's so much easier for me to create content when i know you guys want to watch a particular video thank you so much for watching thank you for staying and for those who are returning to my channel as always i really really appreciate that you watch really appreciate all my viewers all my comments all my subscribers love you guys so much hopefully i see you guys in my next one bye happy birthday to me happy birthday to me happy birthday happy birthday to me happy birthday to me